Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The recent tender document by DRDO is highlighting that organization has started working on a new hypersonic missile. The tender was released for fabrication and supply of a hypersonic wind tunnel model as per DRDO's specifications. However, the most interesting part of the tender is its description which says fabrication and supply of hypersonic wind tunnel model for KV. However, it is not clear if KV is skill vehicle or a kinetic vehicle. It appears to be a hypersonic glide vehicle which can be launched from a ballistic missile. The DRDO's new hypersonic missile will be very similar to the Chinese famous DF-17 hypersonic missile which is also a combination of Chinese short-range ballistic missile DF-16B and hypersonic glide vehicle DF-ZF instead of normal warhead or MIRV of a conventional ballistic missile DF-17 uses hypersonic glide vehicle DF-ZF which follows a suppressed and lower altitude trajectory this makes their detection even more difficult than MIRV warhead. DRDO also seems to be exploiting the newly developed Agni Prime missile as a ballistic launch platform for the hypersonic glide vehicle. If the warhead of Agni P is closely looked, it has canonical shape with four actuated fins, which resembles the aerodynamic structure of a hypersonic glide body. Agni Prime is being developed to replace Agni 1 with a range of 700 to 1200 kilometers and Agni 2 with a range of 2000 to 3500 kilometers. It will also complement Agni 5. The Agni Prime weighs 50% lesser than Agni 3 and has a new guidance and a new generation of propulsion. The reduced weight of Agni Prime is due to the integration of new technology which will be more lethal in terms of power and killing ability. The missile is not only lighter in weight but also much sleeker. Agni Prime includes the cutting edge technology of Agni 4 and Agni 5. The missile is a two-stage canisterized solid propellant ballistic missile with dual redundant navigation and guidance. Both stages have composite rocket motors and guidance systems are equipped with electromechanical actuators. Agni Prime will be capable of carrying payload of 1000 kg with a range of 1000 to 2000 km. It has capability to even evade ballistic missile defense system. It is stealthier than previous Agni series due to the usage of composite materials. Since it is a canister launch missile, it can be launched from rail and road and stored for a longer period of time and can be transported across the country as per operational requirements. As per former DRDO chief Agni Prime has capability to kill moving targets, which means the missile has maneuverable re-entry vehicle payload or a hypersonic glide vehicle payload that can hit aircraft carriers and maneuverable warship. This also means that DRDO is either working or has already completed the development of the aircraft killer version of Agni Prime missile. The integration of hypersonic glide vehicle with Agni Prime is also being observed as new carrier killer or hypersonic anti-ship missile. It will have a massive range in excess of 2000 km with maximum speed close to Mach 6. The development of this missile is going to be a huge setback for aircraft carriers of PLA Navy. India would be able to destroy Chinese aircraft carrier and big destroyers like Type 55 from much longer distance. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.